Okay, what's up guys? Blazer DB here with part two of my three part series on how to edit a clip in After Effects. And I appreciate the feedback I got on my first video on Crystal Clear Arts. I thank all you guys for liking the video and also checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. So yeah, let's jump into the tutorial. So just go on to After Effects and you're just gonna create a new composition. And as you see, we have our clip in right here um editing my friends montage um his name's tricks he's a beast player you should really go check him out but yeah like i was saying so in this clip i think i'm gonna add some motion blur and i'm also gonna um add a little dirt effect and so yeah let's jump into it so first of all i just want to color correct and i'm just gonna do like a warm color correction on this map just because it's um it's snowy it's a snowy map so the warm color correction to look better so it's gonna go up here to effect i'm gonna go down to looks and i'm gonna hit edit and there's a way for this to load and sorry if my computer's been is on a bit of a go slow today it's because i've been doing a lot of work trying to get this montage done for them so just gonna go to post drag in curves drag this down drag this up and drag this up okay now we're going to go to back to post and we're going to go lift gamma gain and we're just going to drag that in I'm going to make sure the first one is in the white area just make sure this one's in the white go down here make sure this one's in the blue area right about there and drag this one all the way up to the orange you want it orange not red so now as we see we have our warm little color effect now I'm going to go over here to Lens, and I'm just going to add a softness. Well, I'm not even going to add a softness because I'm using Motion Blur. So don't add a softness. I'm going to add a vignette. Um, just going to drag my vignette out to about right there. That looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here to Matte, and I'm going to add a Diffuse. Then I'm going to go back to Matte, and I'm just going to add a, um, a Warm color well no nah, the warm doesn't look right let's try nice and warm okay looks better so now as you see we have our clip all color corrected i'm just going to click okay so now we have our click all color corrected now we're just going to go up to effects and we're going to go to revision plugins and i'm just going to go to rsmb which is real smart motion blur and on the blur amount we're just going to change this to one and I'm just going to click on that clip. And under the motion sensitivity, we're going to change this to 100. And for those of y'all who don't know what um, motion blur is, it's like every time he drastically moves, as you see, it blurs. And I'm just going to RAM preview it so you guys can see what it looks like. And usually when I RAM preview, I skip five frames and put it at quarter resolution just so the RAM preview won't take as long. And that's a good way to RAM preview your clips. Um, it's not going to be in the best quality, but you still get to see what your clip is going to look like after you, when it's, um, when it's finally done. So as we wait for this to RAM preview, please like this tutorial, guys. It really helped me out a lot. It also help out Crystal Clear Art. So just please hit the like button for us. We would greatly appreciate it. And this is almost done rendering. Turn, turn my volume back. See whenever you find the drastic you see there's a little blur on the screen, so ready for the Alright. So now since we have the motion blur in thinking about adding a dirt dodgy effect, but that's not gonna mm, well we can try to add it and see what it looks like. Even though it's snowing, we can still try to see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go up here to effect. And I'm going to go to Video Copilot and I'm going to go to Optical Flares. And like I said, my computer might be on a bit of a go slow because I've had it rendering things all day. So I'm just going to go up here to Options. And I'm going to go to my Custom Presets and... I'm going to go down to my dirt dodgy effect. Now, for the people who don't have this effect, 
just go up here to um how do I go back cancel hold on no all right let's go back go down to what's it under um hold on light and it's been so long since I've actually went through this preset so bear me a minute because I have to find out where this where you find this at as a matter of fact I think it's in my preset so hold on because I really didn't have a basis for this tutorial okay so when you're under dodgy dirt that's the flare that's the name of the flare what you want to do is and I learned this from Vita Creations. He's a beast editor. I've been sub to him for a while. So big ups to him for showing me this. But you just want to hide your multi iris. Hide this one. Hide this one. Hide this one. Hide the shimmer. Hide this other shimmer. Hide the street. And keep the glow. So when you keep the glow, that's basically the dirt effect that you have. And you just want to save it as a preset. And if you want to save it as a preset, just click save preset. And save it in your custom presets and give it a name and that's all under the uh the <laughs> excuse me the optical flares packet so i'm just gonna pick the dirt dodgy effect and i'm not really i haven't really came up with a basis to do these tutorials on like i haven't had a set video like oh i'm gonna talk about this in this video i kind of just wing it because i'm editing right now so i just want y'all to see what i do when i do in real time when i edit so as you see we have the dirt effect and uh its brightness is at a hundred but I don't want to it's just gonna keep it at a hundred and as you see it just adds a little bit more of the the snow effect to it it's kind of a little bit more dirty as you see and yeah like I was saying sorry if my computer's on a bit of a go slow it's been going through a lot today but this is the basis of the tutorial. I was just showing you guys my dirt custom preset and also my real motion blur settings. I advise you guys to go download these two plugins. They're very essential in your montages. I've seen, haven't seen too many people use real motion blur yet, but it's a really good effect that'll make your montages just stand out a little bit. And also the dodgy dirt optical flares, you can use that for pretty much anything. So I will have part three coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And it's been Blazer DB, and please like the video.